And at long last, I finally got my hands on this kit, and the time has come for me to show everyone my undying love for the video game legacy of Mega Man. Also, I want to note that this is not the first Mega Man model kit that I'm building. In fact, my very, very first custom painted build was the Kotobukiya Mega Man X Max Armor Upgrade, and that model housed custom LED lights as well. And you can see here from the box art, along the sides and back, how beautifully presented this model kit is. Everything from the Z Saber and Arm Cannon, to the amazing articulations and action poses that you can do with this bad boy. But what I also love are the different interchangeable facial expression parts, which is going to make this model stand out even more. Alrighty then, let's move right along to the meat and bones of this awesome model kit and see what's inside the box. And immediately you are greeted with the instruction manual of this kit, and on the back side you get a detailed glimpse of the step-by-step -step color chart if you choose to do some custom painting, which I'm going to do specifically for the red, white, and yellow pieces for Zero's outer armor. And the reason being is because I want to get the most out of the articulation abilities from this model and because these runner pieces already come pre-painted. On the inside cover, you get a glimpse of the retro anime images of Zero and a brief summary of the history behind the legendary Maverick Hunter with steps on how to properly cut the model pieces out from the runners. A detailed chart on the next page of all the runners included in this kit, so you can double check and make sure none of the model pieces are missing. And of course, step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble the, and piece this guy together for the head, hands, feet, legs, torso, as well as weapons and equipment. So you can see here that this instruction manual is well mapped out and easy to follow. Here's another cool gimmick about this model kit that I love. The fishing rod that you can install into the handle of the Z Saber to fire it up. Unfortunately, this fishing rod does not come included in this kit, so you're going to have to purchase that separately. Inside back cover illustration looks spot on for this legendary Maverick Hunter who fought alongside Mega Man X against the evil Sigma. Okie dokie, let's move along and check out these beautifully colored runners for this model kit. First we've got the hand pieces, open and closed fist, and on this runner we have the metallic silver pieces for Zero's Buster Cannon, including the barrel. Next runner-up we have more silver metallic pieces for the inner frame of the torso, arms, legs, and connecting peg pieces to snap all those together. And this color looks spot on to the Vallejo Pale Burnt Metal color that I used in the past in previous builds. Next up we have these beautiful red armor outer pieces for the feet, lower legs, and forearms. And I'm going to hit these pieces with a nice black primer and then top it with a Tamiya metallic red to further refract that shimmering surface effect. Next we have this beautiful blonde hair piece that latches on to the back of Zero's head with a peg piece. Next we have we we have the detailed fixture yellow pieces to complement the red and white pieces of Zero's outer armor. Next are the clear pieces for the ear cuffs and the forehead gem and I'll be adding Pico and Nano LED lights for those. Here are some gray pieces for the torso. Next up we have the lovely PC joints that are going to give that overall poseable articulation for the model, whether it be a ground attack pose or a mid-air attack pose. And more of the clear pieces for the lower legs along the ankles. Moving, al moving along, we've got the clear blue pieces for the lightsaber action effects and clear pieces for the bottom of the feet. I'm thinking either an ice blue or cool white colored LED light would be the best choice to make those lighting effects. Next up we have the remaining outer white pieces for the helmet, groin, hands, shoulder armor, and ear cuffs. These are beautifully sculpted. And on the last red colored runner we have the outer pieces for the torso, feet, and helmet. These are going to look incredibly epic in a red metallic base coat. 
And of course we have the runners for the black pieces that make up the, the upper legs for zero. Next we have more of the white armored pieces for the knees. And I believe these round cuff pieces are for the ankles on the lower legs. Last but not least, we have the interchangeable facial expressions. And I give a lot of credit to Kotobukiya for the attention to detail they applied for painting the anime eyes and mouth for this character. Also for painting Zero's logo design on the white armored piece for Zero's left shoulder. And finally at last, of the white detailed parts for the knees and ankles. Okie dokie ladies and gents, time to cook and let's get to work. First of all, I just want to say that custom building this model kit was an amazing experience for me and very challenging. Personally, it was like performing open heart surgery, to be honest. I took every necessary precaution in making sure that these LED lights would not strip or break no matter what pose I would put this guy in. Basically I started by putting, by using a strategy of, of creating a small loop in the lower leg where the LED lights start along the ankle base then another inside the knee, then inside the upper leg to give that necessary slack and resistance, which would allow me to bend the legs. I did the same approach with the LED lights inside the head where it meets the back of the neck. So this idea definitely worked and I was able to pose this model in different variations without the risk of stripping or breaking any of the lights. As far as the end result of this custom build, I have only two disappointments. Number one, I was unable to pry open the helmet piece because I forgot to sand and smooth the peg pieces inside that, that secure the headpiece shut. So there's no way for me to open the helmet so that I can change Zero's faceplate. Although the, uh, number two, although the LED lights worked out perfectly, the one on the left nipple shines brighter than the one on the right uh, for Zero's chest armor piece. Other than that, 
uh, those other, other than those two minor setbacks, I'm very happy with this project project overall. What you guys have to realize is that the model pieces contained in the runners for this kit are in fact pre-painted, so you don't have to custom paint each and every single piece. In this case, I chose to only focus on custom painting the outer armor pieces, and it was a great decision because it improved the overall look for this character. Another approach I made for the ear cuffs and forehead gem, I noticed light bleeding through the model pieces from the LEDs. So I had the idea of using a small amount of modeling clay in black to conceal those areas. This idea not only fixed the problem, but it also improved the look of Zero's metallic helmet. I love it. And just like that, ladies and gents, we are done with this product review for this awesome Kotobukiya model kit. If you guys want to know more about the custom LED lights that I use for these projects, they are made by Evan Designs. I've used their LEDs for over a year and have built a lot of awesome model kits. You can check out their website to learn more about their amazing LED lights and how they work. Also, you can save 10% on every online purchase you make of $40 or more in their website using my coupon code on the bottom of the screen. Once again, I want to thank everyone for viewing my video content as well as everyone who supported and helped my channel grow. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for the latest details and info on my newest custom model builds. And of course, if you like my video content, be sure to post and share your thoughts and comments down below. Smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching everyone and I will see you on the next video.